Okay, what is up guys? Um, this is the last video of this series and at this stage you would have saved your R&R um, file in a QBIOS um, formatted uh, or friendly file. Just to let you know, um, you get QBIOS, download it here, it's free. It's created by academics specifically for analyzing heart rate variability. There's a premium package, but you don't need that. You can just use the standard package. Um, so that's QBIOS.com. Now, when you download it and click on the executable file, it will automatically um, sync in with um, MATLAB. Um, so you should have a MATLAB little icon like that. It will sync into that and create a little graphical user interface. So everything is done automatically. Um, when the software is ready, you can see my bar here, you have a little red heart. Um, you click or double click on that. It will take about 30, 40 seconds to load up. MATLAB's a huge computational engine. It takes time to actually load up. Um, so you get this little graphical user interface. That's the great thing about this is no line coding. It's all plug and play. Click the buttons. Um, then all you have to do is click on the file and you want to open it. So in my r, &R file, the top one here was the original file um, with all the timestamp information. Let's see if I've got it here. No, I don't have it now. Um, but it, it had all the timestamp information. So if you saw the previous video, you know I just went through a process of removing the timestamp information. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the previous video because I explained that and the process to remove that through LibreOffice. Um, this r, r file here, I know, looks like this with a single column. And this will load into QBIOS. This one here with the timestamp inf information will just crash the program. So if I double click on the single column file, that should load in, and there we have it. So I'll just expand this. Okay, so there's a lot of buttons there. You don't really have to understand much for your uh, projects. Um, what you do need to know is that um, this is a, an artifact correction. So you will get these crazy spikes that aren't actually data, it might be the individual moving or something like that, pulling on the cords, and you get these big spikes. You can put a medium smoothing, press apply, and it'll change it slightly to smooth out the artifacts. Um, the key things to know, there's your RMSSD, your uh, root mean uh, standard square deviation. That's your main index. That's your main index for heart rate variability um, for the projects I'll be running. There are other indexes that you might use, um, such as high, low, and um, the ratio between low frequency, high frequency. There's also nonlinear stuff um, that we won't be using. Um, some of my colleagues do use nonlinear for things like mood and cognition. However, we don't. We won't be using that. So all you have to do is use the time domain and the frequency domain to get your uh, main indexes, the RM, SSD, and the LF, H, HF, LF, HF frequencies. I might do another video in terms of what they mean. They all relate to the autonomic nervous system. Um, and um, you just take those, date, those data points there. So you take 51.889, put that into um, SPSS. You'd have a pre-score. So remember, you record it for five minutes before your intervention and in five minutes after your intervention. So five minutes before, record it, save it, upload it. There's your pre-heart pre rate variability measure. And then you'll have a post. You'll re-record after the intervention and have your post measure to do the analysis. Once that's in Excel, if you want to do bar charts or if you want to do um, some kind of statistical analysis, uh, univariate, um, ANOVAs or uh, ANCOVAs if you want to use covariates. Uh, I might do some separate videos in terms of the analysis itself. Um, we'll see. Uh, but that's all you need to know 
um, for your projects. Okay, so thank you very much, and that's the end of this particular series. Goodbye for now.